when you first came into the NRL and you were in and you were this young star in these bright lights and then you were out and then you were back in and then you were back out. Does that chopping and changing impact your self-belief? I want to say it's my self-belief. Um, I'll probably, yeah, a little bit of confidence. Um, you know, I am a confidence player and, you know, I guess when I'm on, I'm on. But, you know, I want to, I want to try to get that balance where, you know, for myself I can not have the best game but still – still be having a good mindset and you know finish off the game strong whatever happens and um yeah definitely throughout 22 you know it was it was up and down and um I don't blame anyone else but myself you know I, I didn't put myself in the best position um to play number one or even to play first grade and um I, I was probably kicking stones a bit you know being being only a teenager then I was um sort of looking who to blame and um, you know, instead of instead of looking at myself in the mirror, and um, you know, that's why I was so happy to um, come into this off season and um, try and earn back the respect of my teammates, just with oh, my teammates and my coaches as well. Um, you know, guys like that, like Benny Hunt and you know Blake Laurie and Zach Lomax, the guys that I really respect. Um, I just want to come back and earn their respect and hopefully earn the number one jersey back. So what changed your uh, your outlook from kicking stones to wanting to really work hard for that number one jersey? Uh, I haven't chats with some people that, you know, have my back, um, especially my nan. Uh, she she um, sort of told me the straight and forward way. Um, I, don't, I don't really talk footy to her because um, it's, not, it's not what I'm about. I just want to spend family time with nan, but... Um, she could tell that something was going on uh, in the off season, or sorry, throughout the year. And um, you know, when when I decided, you know, I, I did request a release throughout the year, and um, you know, I put that all behind me now. I'm, I'm a St George Dragon, and um, yeah, hopefully, I'm uh, sorry with Nan. Yeah, she just told me straight. She just said, you know, stop being a sook. Um, you know, I was I'm 20 years old now, so I'm still very young, but obviously, you know. Um, yeah, she she's seen me since I was a kid. So, um, yeah, she, she just said, stop being a sook, uh, man up and, you know, have that chat with the coach that you need to have a chat with and whoever you need to chat with. And, you know, we got it done. And um, now now I praise Hook on, you know, what he's, what he's done for myself. Um, you know, I feel like I've matured over the off-season and uh, come back a lot more mentally strong and um, as a better player. Nan sounds very wise. Um, she's played a very big role in your life, hasn't she? Yeah, she has. Um, yeah, she's raised me since I was two months old and um, she's played both roles of, you know, my mum and my dad and um, done everything up until now. You know, I was just with her about half an hour ago. Um, you know, she's she's a very, very wise lady, as you said. Um, and it's pretty cool because whoever knows her in, I guess, the Illawarra community, um, she's not just my nan, she's everyone's nan and um, you know, with all my friends growing up, um, you know, she's very well respected in the community. Um and also with the boys uh and the dragons, um, you know, they're always asking how nan is and checking up on her and it means a lot to me because uh she's everything to me and she's she's probably the only thing that I've really got and um family wise, like I have a lot of family but you know, she's she's my rock and um yeah, everything I do and want to succeed is just for her and just to make her proud and, um, yeah, that's me. She seems like a wonderful lady. Can you um, give us a little bit of an insight into your conversations with, with the coach then? Um, was it – did you broach him? Did he approach you? How did those conversations go down? Yeah, it was a mutual thing. Um, you know, I feel like we needed to have it as a um, – as a collective group, you know, we obviously didn't have the best season before and personally, you know, I didn't have my best season, but, um, yeah, just in the off season, you know, we contacted, contacted each other and, you know, caught up and, um, you know, Hook was very open and honest. Uh, he, he said he probably didn't, um, communicate with me in the best way. And, um, that's probably sort of led to, you know, us not seeing, I guess, eye to eye throughout the year. And, um, you know, me me being such a young kid, I probably thought, you know, I knew it all. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I obviously didn't and, you know, I'm still learning. And, um, you know, it probably took both of us, you know, not to be a bigger man but 
you know, to be man together and, um, you know, we obviously want the same thing. We want to succeed. And um, at the end of the day, it had nothing to do with footy. It was just uh, myself, I guess, wanted to be um, stronger as a as a player and um, wanted to be a better person. So, yeah, for me and Hook to have that chat, uh, we just cleared everything up, what happened um, in 2022. And, you know, we pushed that all aside and you know, we, we want to – we want to, I guess, make finals this year and, you know, get this club back where it needs to be, um, having such a proud history. And, um, yeah, we just cleared everything up and, you know, we've moved on now and, um, you know, I see Hook is, you know, a great coach and, you know, even better bloke. So now now, it's, now everything's all, I guess, been pushed away and, you know, we're just ready to go for next uh, for this year. So. Was the club a little surprised when you did request a release? Yeah, I, I definitely think they were. Um, you know, it was it was a pretty tough moment for myself, you know, asking to release from, you know, the club that's, I guess, had my back since I was, you know, 13, 14 years old. And um, if I'm completely honest now, I probably wouldn't be able to leave, um, you know, having, you know, my nan down here and, you know, my brother who, who I got, who I was raised with and um, all my friends and family, you know, looking – Looking in hindsight, I probably probably wouldn't be able to move, and um, you know, I guess everything happens for a reason. Um, obviously, I got the crack at number one this year, and um, you know, I respect I respect what Cody's done with the fullback jersey, and you know, everything you know he's achieved so far, and you know, we wish him all the best, and we want him to come back as soon as possible. But obviously, health's uh, number one priority, and um, yeah, but to, yeah, to answer your question, um, the club was probably a bit shocked. Um, but, you know, I'm very close with our CEO, Ryan Webb. Um, he does a lot of stuff behind the scenes, uh, not only for footy, but, you know, for me personally. And, um, you know, I think it was just about building a connection at the end of the day with, you know, from people top to bottom. And, um, yeah, that's all it was. I imagine getting dropped to reserve grade a couple of times would be a bit of a kick in the guts, but having the club essentially refuse your release and fight for you to stay, does that make you feel better about your future at the club? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, they've, they've believed in me at such a young age. Um, you know, gave me gave me a contract when I was straight out of school. Um, and it's something that I'm very proud of is, you know, I've got to debut at my hometown and, I guess, play the club that's, I guess, 20 minutes down the road, 10 minutes down the road and, only in Wollongong. So, yeah, for them to, I guess, back me since day one and, um, you know, put all the faith in me, you know, I guess it's time for me to repay them and, um, you know, hopefully that's on the field and off the field, you know, with whatever I do and, you know, wherever I go, I'm, I'm a pretty respectful kid and, you know, I try to try to represent, you know, my club and my culture, you know, as proud as I can and um, as I said, I'm so proud of this club and, you know, what they've achieved in the history but, you know, I haven't achieved anything yet with this club, so hopefully, you know, down the track or as soon as possible, uh, I can do that and you know get that get the club back to where it needs to be.